This video clip will demonstrate the donning and doffing of personal protective equipment or the PPE ideal in the COVID-19 pandemic situation. The components of PPE are two pair of gloves, shoe covers, gown, N95 mask, goggles and the head cover. World Health Organization has published an advisory for rational use of personal protective equipment for coronavirus disease 2019. According to this advisory, everyone need not wear a PPE. With regard to COVID-19 pandemic, PPE should be worn by healthcare workers performing aerosol generating procedures like tracheal intubation, tracheostomy, cardiopulmonary resuscitation, manual ventilation before intubation, bronchoscopy, etc. Or healthcare workers attending to suspect or confirmed patients of COVID-19 in isolation settings. Or healthcare workers collecting samples from suspect or confirmed patients. Or housekeeping staff involved in cleaning in quarantine or isolation room. There should be designated places for donning and doffing of PPE outside the wards or testing and treatment areas. Before donning of PPE, make sure the person is adequately hydrated and use the washroom. Check all the components of the PPE. A second person should guide and instruct the person while donning and doffing with a checklist. The present protocol demonstrated here depict wearing of all the items from legs to head in a sequential order. Remove all personal items. Securely tie here if required. Perform hand hygiene. Put on the pair of inner gloves making sure the cuffs are worn as far up of the arm as possible. Sit on a stool, put on the shoe covers and wear it. Make sure not to touch the floor or the boots. Put on the long slim disposable gown of sufficient length to reach mid calf and inspect the gown has no tears or holes and tie the strap. Ensure that inner gloves are under cuff of the gown sleeve. Put on N95 mask. Hold the mask in the palm of your one hand with the straps facing the floor and place the mask on the face covering the nose, mouth and the chin. Pull the upper strap over the head onto the crown. Pull the bottom strap up and over the top of the head and put it behind the head below the ears. Press the ridge of the nose to obtain a tight seal and perform fit check to ensure a tight seal. For fit check, ensuring a tight seal of the mask, the mask should collapse while inhaling and with the help of a finger confirm there is no air leakage around the mask while exhaling. Put on the goggles. Put on the head cover. Slowly pull it over the head and shoulder. Put on a pair of outer gloves. Pull the gloves completely over the cuff of the gown sleeve. The trained observer must agree that the PP is worn correctly with no gaps that expose skin or mucous membrane. The person is now ready to enter in the procedure room or attend the patient. After the procedure, before entering the doffing area, inspect PPE for any visible contamination and if present, it should be wiped off with 70% alcohol.
The gloves have to be disinfected with 70% alcohol each time after removal of one item of the PPE before the next item. Remove the outer gloves by pinching one glove from outside and grasp in other hand. Then remove the other glove by inserting finger underneath the glove and pull over downwards and discard the outer glove in the designated biomedical waste box. Remove the surgical wood by bending head slowly and grasping the wood at the crown away from the body. Discard in yellow biomedical waste bag. Remove the eye goggles. Discard in appropriate container. Untie the strap of gown. Remove gown by pulling away from the body. Rolling inside out, being careful to avoid contaminating inner clothing. Place in yellow biomedical waste bag. Remove shoe covers while sitting down on designated stool. Discard in yellow biomedical waste bag. Remove the N95 respirator, grab the bottom strap from below the ears, pull to the sides, over the head, repeat the same for upper strap. Do not touch the front of the respirator, discard in yellow biomedical waste bag. Remove the inner gloves as did for outer gloves. Discard them in this designated biomedical waste bag. A thorough hand washing should be performed for one minute after doffing. A final inspection for any contamination of the body should be done before leaving the doffing area. PPE are protective gears designed to safeguard the healthcare workers by minimizing the exposure to biological agents and should be judiciously used only for required purposes. Thank you.